Greetings everyone. It should be the final day for the utilities underground and in the foundation, etc. cetera. Uh, over the last couple days, I've really thought about anything in the future I might want to do. So I'm adding a couple of conduits into the ground for some future stuff. And I'll show you what that is. Out here in front of the house, I'm going to add another half inch conduit just kind of sticking out to the corner of this uh, 45 degree turn here in the trench. I've always wanted a flagpole. So in order to have some light up lights on the flag, I'm going to just add another conduit that I can connect on later once the trailer's gone and everything. And, uh, We'll set my flagpole out there. The other thing I want to add is an inch and a half conduit coming out of the foundation here at the main breaker panel in case in the future if I want to build a barn up there on the hill I can get power up there. So that inch and a quarter conduit, I could easily get like a 60 amp circuit just for lighting and being able to run some power tools in the future barn. So that's the next future project. And now out here in the back, I'm going to add another half inch conduit coming out here and probably just stop it a little ways out I think in the future we want to put a bocce court out here and I'd like to have some kind of cover over it uh, for Sun and maybe if the weather's kind of crummy we could still play bocce but uh, it would be nice to have some lights and maybe some plugs out there you can plug your phone in charge it or whatever so I'm going to pop another conduit up right next to that one so we can come, the power that's coming to this one, we can run it out to the bocce court in the future. And the last thing I need to add is, which I almost forgot, was some way to get cable TV and telephone in if needed. Uh, and we use cell phones. We don't even have a landline phone, but it'd be nice to have that prepped and the line there if we do decide to have a landline phone. Uh, we will definitely use the cable. So I'm going to put that in the towards the back of the garage because in the Wow, that sounds horrible. At the back of the garage, at above the ceiling level, there is a dead space where the roof comes down at an angle. Uh, that makes it real easy to run wiring and stuff. So I figured I'd put it in this back corner and then it'll be easy to get the wiring across to the rest of the house. I don't have to do any digging up there, so I will save that one for later. I'm going to start in the back since I have to do some digging back there to get that conduit in. I wish I had thought of this extra line going out to the future bocce court while I still had the trencher here. so. Gonna have to do it old school, I guess, today. I can't see spending four hours of trencher rental just to go two feet. So here we go. Oh, look, Carrie's here. <laughs> Hooray!
we have 23 more of those wire ties to do on the vertical stakes. So Gary's going to get those made up and installed. And I will continue on the conduit. Okay, so what makes this so much fun is that you're on your belly or your side with dirt trying to get around the posts but also not get caught up on the rebar. I think this might count for my Pilates for the day. Twenty degrees out. <gasps> Let's keep going. Oh no, my tools. Oh, 
another one of those creepy crawlies. You cute. Come here. Look at this cute guy. Oh. Let's find out what this guy is. Well, if it's poisonous, at least I got gloves on. Alright. Next. If I can get out. Okay, my part is finished today. I am gonna leave Scott to finish that trenching. So fun. And I have to go make myself Zoom ready for my next job. See you next time. While Carrie was busy tying off the bottom of the foundation forms, I was digging out that little trench for the future line to the bocce court. So let me get that conduit in, in there and wrapped with the foam. The second line is in for the future uh, bocce court lighting, etc. And your job, I want you to watch and make sure nobody takes that stake out. That's so I can find it later after I backfill it.
We now have an inch and a quarter line stubbed out for any kind of future barn that we may want to build. On to the next one. There is my cable TV and telephone. And they are popping out of the foundation down there, which will be two foot below grade level when it's done. The, it's going to get backfilled up to about right in that area there. So those are done. Let's go over and do the flagpole, future flagpole conduit. I have my future flagpole conduit line stubbed in and it comes out here to this post and I marked it just like the other one so I know where to find it later. Before I wrap things up today, I want to say thank you to a new subscriber, Randy Murphy. I appreciate that. I appreciate all my subscribers. You guys are help building the channel. You're spreading the word. Uh, sometimes the content's a little boring, but that's the life of building your own house. So all the electrical and water, cable and TV has all been stubbed up through the foundation. So that is good to go for the cement pour. The only thing we have left to do is come back and clean up the trenches a little bit before the inspection, which I have a week from today. So the next video will be uh, just the cleanup of the trenches and a few other things that uh, I'm going to do and have some tips for you before you pour concrete. It'll make life easier when you're pull in the forms later. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.